Have you ever wanted to experience what shaders brings? No? Well, too bad. Because you're going to learn how to install shaders and Optifine on Mac. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys, it is Jabinator1 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And today we will be, well, I will be I guess, showing you how to install Optifine and shaders on a Mac. And of course to get shaders to work and Optifine to work. Now I don't have shaders on right now because it causes lag. And yeah, let's get started. As the first step is, well, obviously, go to shadersmod.net, scroll down, click on downloads, and then, so in this tutorial, I should say, here, let's pause that, we don't need that. We're gonna do it without Forge for Minecraft 1.8. So yeah, um, I'll just download again. And it'll bring you to this, and then you wanna click on download, and it'll bring you to the add file link and let's ignore whatever this is because yeah we don't need that hit skip add it, it, what you want to do is go to optifine.net slash home and it'll oh yeah slash home and if you want to want to you can read all that then you want to click on downloads and then so because shaders is only at 1.8 i will be downloading it for 1.8.0 so let's hit download and then wait for that to load click on that okay good for you good for you yeah, it, it might do some crazy stuff. Okay, so guys, now it's time to actually install Optifine and Shaders to your Minecraft. So what you first want to do, you first want to install Optifine just by double clicking it. Bring up this menu, you, you want to hit install. Well, actually, I want to close that. Close that. So yeah, but now what you want to do is you want to install Optifine and shaders or else it'll just, you know, be useless. And so, double click that, hit install. If you get that message, that's good. And then double click this. Closed and... So you have an option right here. Click on... So we actually downloaded H5. But previously I had D1, so let's do G H5. Okay, get this. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your Minecraft. Here you have your empty shaders packs folder. And so you want to drag this Zeus 10, and I renamed it so that I could bring the old one. I can drop that in. And then let's use this. And what's this? It's not working. Oh, what is this? I see this is what will happen. I mean, you could still play this if you want, but I'm not going to. So what you want to do, you want to enter the share packs folder. Or actually, let's just exit Minecraft. Okay. So you want to open this up. I don't know. Not open the tab. Okay. And then you have a bunch of, um, files I guess. So what you want to do is you want to type this exactly how it is. I will leave a um, exact copy of it in the description so check that out. And so yeah copy and paste this. Well I should say just copy it. And then open it. Open composite1.fsh. Remember fsh not vsh. Okay. Very important. So open that with text edit. And that should be um, already on your Mac or MacBook. And so yeah, now to hit enter right after the hashtag version and then space 20. So you want to um, command V that or paste it. 
Now that you have that, quit out of that, and then you want to go into final.fsh, not vsh. So open that again with text edit. And then again, you want to do the same exact thing. Just paste that right underneath the version 120. So now that you have that, exit out shaders, open up Minecraft. Wait for this to load. And remember, open it with 1.8 shaders mod, and that will also have Optifine though. So now that your Minecraft is loaded, hop into your single player world or on the server. Wait for it to load again. And there you go. It's all fixed. So yeah. As I said, it was really easy, it wasn't really hard, and yeah. I really hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like and comment, suggest of what other tutorial I should do. And yeah, if you want to see more content made by me, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And see you guys next time.